Profit and Loss, Part 1. Hi, I'm Daniel Souza and welcome to Appute Academy. Today I'm going to discuss a very intriguing topic. It's called Profit and Loss. Many students get very confused by this. Who's buying what, who's selling what, at what price, what is SP, what is CP, and etc. and etc. But the thing is, once you understand the concept behind these terms, you don't need any shortcut formula also to solve them. Alright, now before we start this topic, you need to understand four terms. Cost price, CP, selling price, SP, profit and loss. Let's see what these terms mean. Alright, now to understand profit and loss, what you do is consider a scenario where you are a shopkeeper and you end up selling soap. Now, why I've chosen soap is because the first problem that I saw on profit and loss was on soap and that stuck. Now, you own a shop and you sell soap. Now, to sell something, you need to have something, right? So, what you do is you go to a wholesale dealer and you buy a bar of soap. Say you buy it for 5 rupees. Okay? Now, this 5 rupees, you have paid, right? This is you. You have to understand. This is you. So, it has cost you 5 rupees to get something, right? So this becomes your cost price. You have bought it and you've kept it in your shop. Now what happens is your friend comes along, right? And he comes to you and tells you that he wants a bar of soap. You say, yes, I do have a bar of soap and you sell it to him. Now, if you're not the worst businessman in the world, you would probably sell it to him for six rupees maybe, right? So now what has happened is that you invested five rupees in a bar of soap. You sold that soap and now your friend has a bar of soap, but you have six rupees. So now you have sold it to him. So your selling price will be six rupees. Now what has happened is first you had five rupees. Now you have six rupees. So you have one rupee extra. That is your profit. Now suppose you end up selling the bar of soap for four rupees, right? Now first you had five rupees. Now you have four rupees. So your selling price has decreased. Now you've lost one rupee. That is your loss. So now if you understand this, Basically, your profit and loss is decided only on your selling price and cost price. So if your selling price is more, then it will be a profit, right? 6 rupees is more than 5 rupees. If your selling price is lesser than your cost price, then you have a loss. So if selling price is more, it's a profit. If cost price is more, it's a loss. Alright, so now profit will be selling price minus cost price and loss will be cost price minus selling price, right? Now, you must have heard that both profit and loss are always calculated on the cost price. Now. What happens is sometimes we memorize this and then we go into the exam and then we forget right on what to calculate it but now let, let me explain the concept behind it have you ever wondered why see in the first example now what i explained to you you bought a bar of soap in the first scenario you bought it for five rupees and you sold it for six rupees right in the second scenario you bought it for five rupees and you sold it for four rupees now just consider this all right say you bought 100 bars of soap right now you sold 10 and suppose the competition increases or something and you have to lower your prices Right? So you sell the next 10 at some different price. Then again you sell some 10 for some different price. Now what is happening is, if you calculate it on the selling price, you will never get a right answer. Your cost price is always fixed. Have you noticed that? In both the scenarios, 5 rupees was fixed. The selling price kept on changing. So the loss and the profit will always be calculated on the cost price. Alright, now that we understood the basics, let's solve a simple problem. Problem 1. The ratio of the cost price to the selling price is 4 to 5. Find the profit percentage. Alright, now the first sum is very easy. They told you that the cost price and the selling price is in the ratio of 4 to 5. Now, right off the bat, you can say that if the selling price is more than the cost price, you have a profit. They've asked you to find the profit percentage. Now, your CP is 4 and your SP is 5. You know that gain is equal to SP minus CP. Right? So, 5 minus 4 is equal to 1. Now, gain percentage or profit percentage will be calculated on the CP. So you have gain upon the CP 4 into 100%. Now 1 by 4 is 0.25 into 100. So this is 25%. Right? Alright, so this was part 1 on the lecture on profit and loss where we just saw the basics and we solved a simple problem. Now in my coming videos, I'll solve many more tougher problems. If you like this video, Subscribe to my channel and also I'd appreciate it if you share this video on Facebook. Thank you. Hey guys, thanks so much for all your support. Do continue to spread the knowledge. Cheers.